Boosh! What's up guys, it's Ben, back again with another video. Have you guys ever wondered how to change your photo from being super green to being that autumn feel that is all over Instagram? If you stick around, I'm going to show you how it's done. <laughs> Welcome to the first Quick Tip Tuesday. So you're trying to figure out how to make your photo go from that green, which is everywhere because you live in California and you have no such thing as seasons, <laughs> and you're trying to move over to that warm autumn feel that we're seeing all over Instagram. When I think of fall or autumn, I'm thinking of four colors. I'm thinking of reds, I'm thinking of yellows, I'm thinking of oranges, and I'm thinking of browns. Now, I know that that spells Roib, and Roib equals fall vibes. Let's go ahead and hop into Lightroom, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty, guys, so we are now in Lightroom, and as you can see here, I have a photo pulled up. Um, I believe this is Kyle um, under a sheet uh, trying to make himself into a ghost for that ghost challenge that happened a couple years back. Um, so really quick though, uh, we are going to be using Lightroom 2021 that just came out because of the new masking feature, which I am super into. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I always do whenever I'm wanting to make something into a fall vibe is I'm going down over here to the color section right here. And I go down over to this mat. It gives it more of that matte feel in the photo and brings the blacks up just a little bit. As you can see, it gives it a nice little S curve, bringing up those blacks, bringing down those whites. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mask out my subject. Now, the cool thing about Adobe's 2021 is that you can easily mask out your subject by clicking on the mask button here and going down to select subject. You're gonna click on select subject. It's gonna generate and boom, look at that it automatically selected the subject. It's nuts. It's, I'm honestly, aliens. I think aliens are responsible for it. Let's go back in. So <laughs> we've masked out our, our subject here and it's um, I just really wanna brighten up those whites. So I'm gonna increase the contrast just a tad bit and I'm gonna bring up the exposure and I'm going to bring up the whites just a little bit. I'm also going to bring up the shadows just a tad bit because I want to be able to see the crevices that are inside of the sheet. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom where I have the calibration. Now, a lot of people are scared of the calibration uh, window, but you guys got to understand that you have to test out some waters every once in a while, okay? So you're going to click on the calibration. It's going to drop down. You're going to go over here to green primary and you're going to slide this slider all the way over and then you're going to come over to hue and you're going to bring that hue slider all the way back you should start to notice your greens are starting to turn a nice shade of yellow so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down to the hsl tab we're going to drop down that window to make sure that we see all of it, H, S, and L, if you will. Hue, saturation, and luminance. Um, don't mistake in it for um, anything else. It is hue, saturation, and luminance. I made that mistake in college once. So we're gonna hang out over here in the hue category, and we're gonna drop down those yellows. You're gonna start to notice that the greens are gonna start turning an awesome yellow color, which is kind of indicative of those fall vibes. You're gonna also take the green tab here in the hue saturation, you're gonna drop those down as well. That's gonna bring us down into a nice, almost brownish yellow tone, which is what you're looking for when you're looking at a fall uh, sort of look. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to the saturation in the HSL, that's the S in the HSL, and you're going to bring up the oranges and you're gonna bring up those yellows. That's gonna bring up the saturation of the yellows and the oranges that are in this photo. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the L in luminance. That's L, L, meaning Lima, li meaning uh, uh, anyway. You're gonna go down to luminance. You're gonna bring up the yellows and you're gonna bring up those oranges. You want those oranges and yellows to be the main focus of this entire photo. And then we're gonna go down. 
The one thing that I love to do is wait until the end to do my lens correction. So I like to remove the chromatic admirations and I like to enable profile corrections. That makes the edges a little bit brighter and gets rid of that vignette. But I also love adding on just a tad bit of a vignette because it gives you your eyes something to look at when you're looking at the subject, right? There you have it, guys. You have the before and afters. Um, you have the greens. This was a very green heavy photo and we just went ahead and changed it up and gave it more of that fall look with the yellow leaves and the orange. Now you guys could say that this is just a little bit too much and bring it down later on um, in your guys' photos, but it's all in your eye. It is all what you guys see in a photo. Anyways guys, I know that November is almost over, but I thought that it would be really fun to post this video explaining how I try to get those fall vibes if you guys follow my Instagram, I do have some photos on there, a little bit of the fall type. But I thought that having a quick tip Tuesday would be really fun to start on my channel, a little bit of a series. And uh, I understand quick tip Tuesdays have been around for a while. Probably other channels have done it too. But I thought that it would be really fun to work with. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos, subscribe. If you guys have any ideas um, for any quick tip Tuesday that you guys would like to see in the future, leave it in the comments. Uh, let me know what is uh, interesting to you guys and what would be fun to make a video on. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Stay classy. Oh my God, my nose.